Hi everyone, I've been interviewing everyone else about their collections at home, so I wanted to share with you my collection. So I'm Erin Laramore, I'm the University Archivist in uh, SCUA, and I collect corgi memorabilia. Um, I have lots of corgi tchotchkes as well as some corgi art. Most of it's original art, but there are some prints too. So I started collecting corgi memorabilia um, honestly, soon after I got my own corgis. So you can see the little picture here. The larger of the two corgis is Franny and the baby is Jasper. I got Franny in 2006 and Jasper in 2008. Um, Fran passed away last summer, but Jasper is still here and running around my feet here in the house. Um, he's about 12 and a half years old now. But, um, the art collection is mainly what I want to talk about today. And that really started, um, I really started building that up about eight years ago when I started going to Heroes Con convention in Charlotte every June. Um, my first piece of corgi art though was given to me by Richard Cox, who's in our Eret department. He, he drew that. You can actually see it. Let's see right there over my shoulder. It's a Cordurberus there in the corner. Uh, Gur and R. It's a two-headed corgi. But I have a number of pieces. Probably I'm up to about 50 pieces of, of original art and about 25 prints from various artists from around the world, including a couple of pieces that have been in print in various comic books. Um, the pieces that I like the most, though, basically what I do is when I commission an artist, I just tell them I'd like something with a battle corgi, and I let them interpret that. And so what's really been interesting to me is that every artist takes that in their own way and runs with it. So you'll see, you can actually see the wide range of battle corgi style pieces that, that I have. And some of them are done by artists that you may have heard of. Um, the square one, for instance, is actually a piece by Dave Peterson. He actually is the artist and writer behind the Mouse Guard comic series, which is a, a great series but um yeah these are these are really really fun pieces and um you know it's it's always fun to see again some folks will come up with like a little robin hood corgi some have really tough corgis i've even got uh here it's alexander hamill corg and aaron fur sir and so it goes really well with the other collection of random corgi things that i have so my favorite pieces, though, that I want to talk about are actually two that I had to bring from another room. So let me pan down to the floor where I have them sitting right now. So these are two pieces. Um, both are watercolors. They're painted by Richard in uh, Richard Cox in our Eret department. And they're actually paintings of my two corgis. The uh, tough-looking lady with the battle axe uh, fighting a giant snake. That's Franny. It actually is based on a real story. Uh, when I lived in Raleigh, Franny actually decided one day to go out and take on a copperhead who was hanging out in the backyard. And she was bit and the side of her face swole up. We had a scary emergency room visit and um, she came away with a tough little scar, a little Harry Potter style scar on the side of her face that lasted for the, for the rest of her life. But this is Richard's uh, artist depiction of Franny in my backyard in Raleigh, I guess, taking on this vicious snake. Um, the painting of Jasper is also another one kind of based on, on real life stories. Jasper, ever since he was a tiny little puppy, has been obsessed with things that fly overhead. And when he was really young, he would stand in the backyard and anytime anything flew over the backyard, he would try to jump up and catch it. Um, you know, his legs are about two and a half inches long, three inches long. And so, you know, he wasn't getting too close to them. But whether it was a bird or an airplane, he was constantly trying to catch whatever was going over him. And so this is Jasper finally fulfilling his lifelong dream of being up there with the birds, um, thanks to his awesome little superhero cape. But like I said, those are those are my favorite of the pieces. So thank you for for indulging me and sharing off my, my corgi art. 